in this video we switch it up a little bit Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah I'm Amin, this is Muhammad with Sira Masters Designing the Muslim Mindset for Success I think it's said that a bit different to how I used to Anyway, we've got a little game this, this week uh, It's Companion Quest And you know, we're not getting paid obviously for this But this is from uh, Learning Roots So if you just Google Learning Roots You should find it, they've got loads of educational stuff for Muslims um, and it's really really good quality stuff so we just got this stuff and we thought you know we'll test each other and we'll see uh, if you can play along and you can learn something as well so we, we're gonna we, there are two parts to this basically there is multiple choice and there's true and false true and false is easier so we're gonna go straight into true and false now he's gonna ask me five I'm gonna ask five and then we'll see who gets the most, right? And afterwards, we'll go into the multiple choice, inshallah, which is, which is a bit harder. So, uh, Muhammad. Should I start? You start, okay. Uh, Khalid ibn al-Walid, radiallahu anhu, mm -hmm. never lost a battle in his entire life. Neither before he embraced Islam, nor after. True or false? He never lost a battle. Uh, true. True. Correct. True. Okay. So, one point for me. Uh, so, oh, where was it? Okay, uh, Al Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib was the Prophet Wasallam's uncle who re resided in Mecca during the Battle of Badr. Uh, Al Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib. He was his uncle? Mm hmm. Yes. He mm. resided in Mecca? Yes. True. So, yes. Okay, 1 1. Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu anhu mm. is renowned as the Ummah's leading scholar in tafsir. True or false? You're giving me easy ones, man. I'm giving you easy ones. <laughs> yeah, true, true. True. That's yeah. Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu anhu. Uh, okay, uh, this is maybe a little bit trickier. Uh, Zainab bint Jahsh radiallahu okay. anha uh, is the cousin and the wife of the Prophet Yes, true, she is. It's true. So, okay, two, else. two. Go ahead. Should I give you a difficult one? Yeah, some slightly difficult. Medium, yeah. By the way, this isn't really a reflection of what we know because look, there's so many questions here and we picked ones that are a little bit medium, you know, so we're not gonna get everything wrong. We didn't pick the, the difficult questions. There's the, there's this one, this is the difficult ones. Okay. But we thought we would get started with the easy ones and see how it goes, right? Um, Sayyidina Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan radiallahu anhu mm. served as the scribe of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa recording the Qur'an mm. and later on he became the Khalifa of the Muslim Ummah. So first he was the yeah. scribe of the Prophet yeah. sallallahu writing then, down the Qur'an then he became the Khalifa of the Muslim yeah. Ummah. Well he was Khalifa. Radiallahu anhu, yes. Was he scribe? I mean, I guess... I'll just say true. Yes, that's okay. true. Okay, so what's that? Uh, it's three, two now, and I have to ask you one yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I wasn't going to ask that one. Where is it? Yes, okay. Uh, Salman al Farisi, radiallahu anh, traveled through the lands of the Persian and Roman empires en route to Medina to meet the Prophet yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. so th that's a famous story isn't it how Very he nice kept story. finding different religions and he yeah. found problems with oh. them until he got to the Prophet Very because beautiful. he was so sincere Very looking for the story. truth okay so 3-3 three, three. Yeah, you, you, we gotta get one wrong now man Abu Ubaidah Amir ibn al-Jarrah radiallahu anhu was known as the trustworthy one of the Ummah okay say the name again Abu Ubaidah mm. Amir ibn al-Jarrah radiallahu mm. anhu was known as the mm. trustworthy one of the Ummah trustworthy one I'm gonna say uh, false come on ah. true ah. okay okay, okay. Hey, one wrong at least only hey, okay my go yeah uh the Prophet sallam, made dua for barakah in the wealth of Bilal ibn Rabbah and he became one of the wealthiest companions. No, false. Okay. He made dua for... Okay, do you know who it is? That's not bonus point, but just if you know. 
made dua for a few people. But for Barakah and the wealth, and then they became the, the one of the wealthiest companions. I mean, wealthiest companions, that kind of narrows it already. But. I can't remember now. Abdurrahman bin Auf. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, so, so what is it? It's uh, you got this one right, sir. Yeah. So it's it's four three to you. Okay. Last one now. Sayyidina okay. Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu was called the Nurain, which means the possessor of two lights, because he married two of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam daughter daughters. Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu. Uh. Was called the Nurain, the possessor of the possessor of two lights, uh. because he married two of the daughters of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is a tough one, you know, because because no, because uh, the rain, it it, it it rings bells, okay, with with Ali, okay. Really, Yeah, but marrying the two. Okay, that's who did, not who did Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu marry? Fatima. And after she died, did he marry anyone else from the Prophet Sallallahu He did, but I don't think of the daughter, Allah. Okay. So I'm going to say false, innit? It? It's false. Okay. It was Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhu. Oh, yeah. He married one of the daughters yeah. of the Prophet Sallallahu yeah. Alaihi Wasallam. And just for the purpose of the listeners, mm. um, not two daughters at the same time. And one of them passed away. And yeah. then, radiallahu yeah. anhu, he married this, the second one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So where are we at now? We're still 4-3 to you, aren't we? Mm. No, 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 no. It's I four, four, but you've got one. So if you get this right, you win. Um, but but a lot of these are easy, Allah. Okay, here we go. That's a bit easy. Anyway, okay. Sadaq. <laughs> <laughs> Abu Huraira <laughs> narrated the most ahadith from amongst the true. companions. Very okay, true. true. Yes. So five, four. You want to do best out of ten? No, we'll, we'll go on questions? to the we'll okay. go on to the multiple choice, inshallah. Okay, so. So by the way, these cards, obviously they've got how many, do you know how many questions? Must be like at least 100 questions or something. 50 to 100 questions here. But then on the other side, you've got multiple choice. So it, it's double really. So I'm just showing you the product, yeah, basically. Uh, so let's go to multiple choice. So should I ask you an easy question or a difficult question? Well, step it off a bit, innit? I, I wanna get like two wrong now, but still beat you, obviously. I have a nice question. Okay, go ahead. I am, well not me obviously, mm. but the Sahaba we're talking about, mm. he was the greatest archer amongst the companions. Mm. Okay, give me the choices. <laughs> okay, the first choice is mm. Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas. Yeah, okay. The second choice was Salama ibn al Akwa. Ah. Anha. Ah. Okay. Uh, the third choice is Abdullah bin Jubair radiallahu uh, anhu. Yeah. And then you have Abu Talha radiallahu anhu. It was Sa'ad. Yes, Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas radiallahu okay. anhu. Okay. Um, your question is. Okay, it's a good question. You might get it quite easily, but it's a good question. Try and get it without the multiple choice, yeah? Okay. The Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said that if there was to be another Prophet after him, then it would be me. I am. Uh, Sayyidina Umar Yes, Umar al-Khattab yeah. Okay, you'll go This one's kind of easy but I just like the question Okay um, Or should I give you a more difficult one? Okay, this one is a good one ah. um, When this Sahabi walked proudly yani, with sort of arrogance and pride mm. in the battle of Uhud mm. the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, said, I mean, the translation of the hadith, mm. this is a sort of walking that Allah detests. Allah doesn't like a person to walk proudly with arrogance, except in this situation, i.e., when fighting against the enemies. Yeah, no, no. yeah. I am. Okay, give me. Uh, wait, so the Sahabi. I mean, I, I, I can't do without the options, to be honest. Go okay. Ahead. Abu Dujana, radiallahu anhu. Okay. Mus'ab ibn Umayr, mm. radiallahu anhu. Mm. Ukasha ibn Muhsin radiallahu anhu and Abdullah ibn Jubayr radiallahu anhu Abu Dujan Yes, correct Okay 1-1 one, one. No, 2-1 yeah, uh, one. 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 Okay. yeah, you'll go now um, I was the first person to translate the Quran into a foreign language and I did so during the lifetime of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam You need the options uh, Maria uh, al-Qitbiyya that's his one of his wives, sir. Huh? 
قبطيه عن نورمان اني واي يا 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 زيد بن ثابت uh, صهيب الرومي او سلمان الفارسي ام ام جو فور ام اي لاتو دو 50 50 لا يو نارو ات داون تو تو اوبشنز فور مي No, no, That's a on. difficult question. Because I lost the last round, did it? So. <laughs> well, okay. I don't think it's Mario Kutia. Okay. Um, which leaves us with who? So Zayd bin Thabit, no, Suhaib al Rumi. I, I don't believe it was Zayd. Okay. No, Suhaib al Rumi, or Salman al Farsi. Actually, this could be a trick question. Is it Zayd? Got a fake one. I'm gonna go for Zaid, رضي الله عنه. Salman al Farsi. Okay, Salman al Farsi. Because you know he he uh, knew many languages because he was uh, he lived in uh, Iran at one time. Now he's Farsi, and so he spoke Farsi probably uh, some of them Syrian languages in that area and and then Arabic as well. So. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask you a difficult question. Not to get is back it is it two one now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe so. I was a poet of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and I was forgiven by Allah in the Quran for a mistake that I made. Mm. Who am I and what was my mistake? Or who am I? Okay, I've got an, an idea but just cuz okay. I want to win. Let me Ka'b ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu. Okay. Uh, Hassan ibn Thabit radiyallahu anhu. Mm. Abdullah ibn Ruwaha radiyallahu anhu. Thabit ibn Qais radiyallahu anhu. Hassan ibn Thabit No, incorrect. The correct answer is Ka'b ibn Malik radiallahu anhu, mm. who was the poet or a poet of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he stayed behind in Medina during the battle of the expedition to Tabuk. Ah, and so Allah subhanahu wa taala forgave him mm. in the Quran. But uh, Hassan ibn Thabit, he was also a poet, sir. It says here Hassan ibn Thabit was a poet who defended the Prophet mm. sallallahu alaihi wasallam through his poetry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's two one. And now it's your turn. Okay, uh, my mother. This is kind of a tough one, by the way. My mother arranged for me to work for the Prophet, and I saw to Salam, and I served him for ten years. Oh, okay. I am. Anas bin Malik al Ansari, radiyallahu anhu. Yeah, true. True. So it's two, two, two. Uh, yes. Yeah, two, two. I want to give you one that's difficult, but it's also like. You know, proper nice, like yeah. For the vi- for the viewers. Ah, uh, this one's proper interesting. Okay. It's just one of them random, like you just like Subhanallah. Okay. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made dua for me, saying, mm. and this is the translation of the meaning of the hadith: Oh Allah, bless his hair and skin. <laughs> okay. Rabbi Allah. <laughs> so who is this Sahabi? Okay. Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu mm. Al Hussein ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu So mm. the grandson of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Dihiyya al Kalbi radiallahu anhu O Abu Abu Qatada al Ansari radiallahu anhu Jeez, how am I gonna know that? It's difficult but it's just like <laughs> What's the first so option? So is it uh, Jarir ibn Abdullah? Jarir. Ibn Abdullah mm. radiallahu anhu Yo man, I'm just gonna say uh, uh, the Hassan. No, it's Al Hussein, by the way. The, the oh. option. Al Anyway, I said it too late. Al Hussein, Rabbi Allahu. Rabbi Allahu. Well, just who was it? So he, Al Hussein, Rabbi Allahu Anhu, was the second option. The correct un- option, Abu Qatada Al Ansari, Rabbi okay. Allahu, and he looked as young as a 15-year-old despite dying at the age of 70. Oh, powerful dua. So, should, what's the score? Two two, I think it's still two two, and we've asked four questions now, haven't we? Yeah. So one left. This is the tiebreaker. Um, this okay, tough one, yeah. Maybe maybe it's not tough for you, but the Prophet Sallallahu said regarding me, what a righteous man he is. If only he prayed at night. I am. Give me the options. Okay, uh, Abbad ibn Bishr. Bilal ibn Rabbah No, no Abdullah ibn Umar Zainab ibn Jahsh It was Abdullah ibn Umar Yes yeah. So I believe because I remember there was a dars I was in it. 
mm. and the Sheikh mentioned that he saw a dream mm. and he went to the Prophet ﷺ for the interpretation mm. and he said that who went to the Prophet ﷺ for the interpretation? Oh, oh right, okay, okay. And then after that, he prayed. Okay. He never left. Allah Alam. Abdullah bin Omar. So it's uh, it's four three to you. Oh, in total, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold so we asked five five, right? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Should I ask you what so I won one and you won one. Let's see how long it's been. It's been twenty two minutes. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah. For the round. Uh, uh, did they join in at home? Do you know? Did you try and guess the questions? Anyway, let us know, like, because it's gone on for a while, but I think it was really fun. Let us know how you did if you guessed and uh, write in the and comments. And if, if you want us to do a, a video where we ask you questions, right, and we see who gets them right, inshallah. How's about that? Yeah, just let us know. Um, we'll ask you some questions and then in the video after it will tell you the answer. So how about we leave them with some questions now? Because we've got the cards, so uh, we can make another video like this okay. or another one asking you or whatever. Just drop it in the comments, drop how, how you did, what you'd like us to do. And uh, until next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Oh, and uh, check, check the video that Muhammad did interviewing Mufti. Very good interview. I'll link it right in the corner. Shalam. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.